Hi guys, hi, welcome back. So in this video, we will see the questions of December 2012. Okay, so the first question here is a magnetic field of sensor based on the Hall effect is to be fabricating by implanting arsenic into a silicon thin film of thickness one micrometer. The specification required a magnetic field of 500 megavolt per Tesla at an excitation current one milliampere. So the implementation dose is to be adjusted such that the average carrier density after excitation is what so after activation is what so you asked to calculate the average carrier density this is the question of what hall effect so directly when you write the formula of hall voltage it is represented by what vh you can write it as what ib by q and d okay d is the thickness n is the number of charge carriers per unit volume q is the thickness of the sensor okay i is the current through the sensor and b is the magnetic field strength okay so these are the terms i'm writing it here b is the magnetic field strength okay i is the current through the sensor okay is the current flowing through the sensor okay n is the number of charge carriers per unit volume okay and again what you have d d is the thickness of the sensor then so here if you see what are the things given n is equals to what you will write here ib because you ask to calculate n small n right it is ib q d v h okay so the i is what 1 milli ampere so convert into ampere it will be what 10 to the power minus 3 okay the charge of electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay thickness is what 1 micrometer so meter will be 10 to the power minus 6 so here you are having v h by b it is what 500 okay mega volt per tesla so convert into volt it will be what 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt per tesla okay put the value here directly so you will write reverse you will write 1 by 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so when you will see all the unit will get cancelled and you will have here what in the next line i write so 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 with gel cancel 1.6 into with 500 do it what you will get 1 by 800 this will give you 10 to the power 25 okay so you can do what write it here because 10 to the power 22 you can make okay so 1000 this is 800 this is 10 to the power 25 unit will be meter cube inverse this will get cancelled 10 dividing by 8 you will get 1.25 into this is 22 okay 10 to the power 22 meter cube inverse with a negative sign so the correct option is option b so this is how you can calculate just if you know the formula the things are very easy now let's see the third question you like said the radius of this form is pair of three electrons in a monovalent metal with an fcc structure in which the volume of the unit cell is a cube so you are asked to calculate the form is pair here okay for three electrons in a monovalent metal fcc structure is there okay which is having an fcc structure volume of the unit cell is given to you a cube so directly you can write the fermi sphere in this case so how you write we know the fermi wave vector kf it is equals to what it is equals to 3 pi square n i think you know this is a very basic formula whole to the power 1 by 2 so we know small n it is equals to what capital n y v so this formula will reduce to 3 pi square capital n y v to the power 1 by 3 so we are dealing with what fcc lattice so for fcc lattice we know number of effective electrons atoms sorry it is 4 okay and k i'm sorry volume is given to you a cube in this case then these are the terms which is given to you so directly when you will put here the values this is 3 pi square n is what 4 this is a cube whole to the power 1 by 3 so it will be 12 pi square right by a cube whole to the power 1 by 3 so the correct option is option a 12 pi square by a cube whole to the power 1 by 3 if you know the formula you can just calculate it within seconds so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day
So it is said in a band structure calculation, the dispersal relation for electron is found to be this. Yeah, beta, it is a constant. A is the lattice constant, the effective mass at the boundary of the first brilliant zone. So dispersal relation is given to you. You will have to calculate the effective mass, which is denoted by m star. And the formula is h cut square by d square epsilon k by d k square. Okay, at the first brilliant zone, first brilliant zone unit will be at what? Plus minus what pi by a so k x k y k z value will be that range you know directly you can just calculate after calculating this term so d square epsilon k by d k square this is what you need to calculate so first let's calculate d epsilon k by d k okay so when you will do this in this case beta will be as it is okay so here if you will do you will get minus sine k x a right and here you will have what Again, on doing this, you will have A. Okay. Again, this terms I'm leaving. This will give you nothing. Okay. So here you will get what? Again, on doing further d square epsilon k by dk square. Okay. On doing this, what you will get? Beta will be outside constant. Okay. A will be also constant. Sign you will convert into what? Again, when you will differentiate, it will become cos. So it is cos kx A. Again, A will come, but with a negative sign. Okay, so finally it will give you what? It will be beta a square cos kx a. Now you see, this is for pi by a. Okay, so when you will put here the value, beta a square cos pi x by a. Okay, cos pi a a will get cancelled and you will have what? Cos pi. Right? And negative sign was there. You know cos n pi is what? Minus 1 to the power n. So it will give you what? Beta a square. All right. Similarly, when you will do d square epsilon k, d k y square. Okay, this is k x. Okay, this will give you what? The same. Again, you will get what? Beta a square and also d square epsilon k, d k y k z square. It will also give you what? Beta a square. Right. So finally, what you can write from this from this entire term, you will write m star the effective mass it is equals to what h cut square right the sum of all these three will be what d square epsilon k by dk square so it will be 3 beta a square okay so it's very simple it is h cut square by 3 beta a square